five minutes after nine o'clock, somebody do me a favor and look up the name of the dog on Inspector Gadget. The name of the dog. Does anybody know the name of the dog on Inspector Gadget? No. Right. Just look it up. I have a reason. I, I have a reason I want to know the name of the dog. Jim George is here. He's not Inspector Gadget. He's Professor Gadget. He will tell you about things in technology that are making our lives better, maybe different. Uh, we certainly do things differently than we used to do, and there's definitely a generational gap in some some things. And if you're trying to keep up with what's going on and and you're older, then good for you, because I think it's not always that easy. A lot of times we're reluctant to, to uh, right. do, right. do new things, but you're not. I mean, you you just you embrace everything, huh? You've I'm always, have I'm you always been that way? No. No? <laughs> really? I've, I've been maybe somewhat inquisitive, but things came fairly easy to me. But uh, about 20 years ago, this, this whole Internet thing took off, and it's hard to learn. Do you it's, remember the first time you used the Internet, the very, very first time you signed on to it? Uh, I don't think I remember you don't the remember? very, very first time. I uh, do. I do. I, I did not have a computer. My brother had an old computer out in California, and he sent me one. Oh. This had to be... 20 years ago, maybe? Oh, I would say at least 20. Anyway, yeah. so there was this thing called America Online, mm -hmm. and I signed up for it, and then I heard the... All that noise. All the dialogue. All, all the main, dialogue. Yeah, and then, and then and then all of a sudden, oh, there it is, there it is. And uh, and then somebody, I think one of Robin's sons, mm -hmm. sent me a photograph. There was, no, there was no photos at all on mine. It was just all text. But then somebody sent me a photograph. It was... Was it Lonnie Anderson? Yes. In, in, somebody in a bikini. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, That's yeah. a keepsake. Yeah, it was one, one of them in a bikini. I can't remember mm -hmm. who it was. And it, it it scrolled down one line at a time you, you, real oh, yeah. slowly. So you started to see, oh, 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 I see what it is. I see yeah, what yeah. it is. It's erotic for you guys. It was very exciting, yeah. yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah, I remember the first time I used the computer, but never, not the first time I signed on as far as the Internet now. Mm -hmm. I had kind of Commodore 64, and I purchased that. And oh, hooked, I remember that name. Hooked yeah. it all yeah. up. And yeah. My brother had one of those, too. He got a Commodore. It was unbelievable. And you have a phone call. Good Thank morning. You. You're on the air. Hey, Larry. This is Matt, the Verizon guy. Remember me? Yeah. Hey, Matt. How you doing? Pretty good. Hey, listen. You were wondering what the name of the dog was for Inspector Gadget, and his name is Brain. 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 Okay. Brain. Well, now let me tell you why I want that, because every time Doug is a big fan of Jim. So when Doug is in the studio and Jim is here, Doug is always in the picture. So if you're watching the video right now, you see Brain right there. That's Brain. It's <laughs> good. It's good. <laughs> Thank you, Matt. Yeah, you're welcome. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Matt is an inspector gadget in, in, in a sense, too. Oh, yeah. No, I, 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 he knows all that. So uh, I can turn my cell phone on. I can turn it off. I can, you know, but I have no apps. I don't use the apps. I'm... I'm too busy, really, for technology a lot of times. You know, they say it's a time it was, saver. Tell me how much time you saved since you've had a, a microwave uh -huh. and, a, and, and all this other stuff. You know, it's just, there's no real time saver. There's got to be something. You're still busy all 24 hours a day. <laughs> writing. writing. I, oh, I save, definitely save time from the old typewriters. Oh, I, I see. I can definitely write, type fast. So backspace is easy for you to clear. Well, correcting, correcting. Yeah, correcting. Yeah, and, and moving things around when yeah, you're editing. Yeah, you don't yeah. got to type a whole new Copy sheet of paper. Copy and paste, yeah. By the way, there was one thing. What was it the other day? Oh, oh with the lottery. When, when you lose the lottery, they put a little one of those QSR things or QR okay. squares. If you had a smartphone, you could maybe win something. I don't know what you win. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't do all that. Maybe an extra code. I have no time for that. So I, Professor Gadget doesn't buy into all of the gadgets. No, no, no. Some, there's not really a whole lot of, uh, everybody out there listening, they, they know that they, they really don't have any more time now than they did 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. All these Yeah, they do. No, you're wrong. Devices. You're wrong. Let me, I, mean, I, can, I can illustrate where you're wrong. Well, please do. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah. Do you remember when the TV would go out and you had to take the tube and go into the oh, hardware yeah, yeah. store and put it into that big console thing and then turn the knobs right. and then figure out if it's good or not. Right. And if it was good, you kept it. If it was bad, you went and got another one just like it and right. you brought it home and you put it in. Right. How long did that take to fix the TV compared to now? Now you have to go to the store and choose what model to buy. And <laughs> oh, go the, oh to replace to the TV. Yeah, because you yeah. can't put a tube in it. <laughs> but but, but they, basically, TVs don't go down anymore. I mean, they either they either work or they don't. Oh, yeah, that's right. They either work or they don't. And once they don't, then you're right. Just then buy a new one. Throw them away. It, we're a throwaway <laughs> society. <laughs> you brought something fascinating to Well, I was just telling Doug out there, this is strict, a typical four-way splitter for USB. Um, the difference is it's really... Um, 
more than four. It's two, four. I think it's seven, a seven-way splitter for USB. The beautiful part of this one is if you have devices that are powered, right? like you want to power your cell phone from your USB port right. and charge it while you're doing something. Well, your, your computer is strong enough to do that. But if you wanted to charge three or four other things, right, right. you couldn't do it. You can split the USB, you know, and have four, but you couldn't power them. This, this allows power, How much does this cost? That's about $39. That's not bad. No. So I brought that in. You guys can have that if you want to charge eight things or seven things at one time. Well, you know what? Uh, we'll donate it to the radio station because I think maybe Dan and Joe can figure out something. I, yeah. my, at my home, I'll never need no, this. No, no. I would never yeah. use it either. No. Okay. So that's that yeah. might be good for the... So we'll get... Yeah. Thank you. So what is, does, is there a difference between the ones on this side and the ones on this no, side? No. Just some extras. All mm-hmm. right. That's all. But... um. It, the, everything's coming out with USB. I was just looking at your camera right now. You know, everything's got this a This camera, yeah. Yeah, everything's, yeah. everything's connected by USB. And then they go from USB 2 now to USB 3. More faster USB. Oh, really? Yeah, more faster. Everything is coming out faster and faster. As if, as if faster and faster. Let me give you a for instance. If, if I give you um, 10 meg of internet and you're surfing the internet, right. and you want more speed, and I give you 100 meg of internet, right. you can't go any faster. Why? Because your computer can only go as fast oh. as it can go. Oh, okay. 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 And plus, you're limited by where you're going to. So if you're going to Ford Motor Company to download a picture of a car or something like that, it depends on the internet in general. In other words, all the switches and routers it goes through to get to Ford. Right. Then it depends on how many people are at the Ford Motor site doing the same thing, downloading a car. So it's, it's, you, you have no more speed, even though you, I just gave you 100 megs. So we test that. Mm-hmm. And we test it as we, uh, we give everybody um, 100 meg to share. Let's say by everybody, 500 people right. to share 100 meg. And we see what the usage is, and the usage is around 60 meg. So then we go ahead and we crank it up to 200 meg for the same number of people. And the usage, 60 meg. Ah, we dump okay. it up to 500 meg. The usage, same. Oh, really? What because is- even though they, can, they have more speed to go, they still, they're still limited by their computer, the computer on the other end, the, the interface, the connections. So everybody talks about the one gig to the home and all it's really a fallacy. And does that affect the quality of what you're viewing? If it's a it picture? would if you were downloading something. In other words, if you had a real great connection to something, mm-hmm. and, uh, and, and then you would need more bandwidth. Remember we said speed is how fast you can go on the highway, and bandwidth is how many cars can fit side by side. Mm-hmm. So a tractor trailer truck delivering a lot of information, you know, can, right. needs more room. Right, right, right. right. So doesn't fiber optic, isn't fiber optic faster than uh, normal cable? It is. But there again, if you have a fiber to the home system, which everybody's touting, and you get one gig in your house, you'll still only do as fast as your computer will let you. Oh, okay, okay. You won't go any faster. Oh, gosh, that is extremely fascinating. (laughs) And how about the uploading process from your scanner? to the cloud or something that still isn't any faster than no it's because you're doing it from your computer yep Mm -hmm. and then it's always the weakest link for instance if i were to rewire your house and put you in the latest cable which might be a category eight you know they have a category five five e six six a they skip seven now they have eight it's like a 40 a 10 gig cabling system Mm -hmm. and i put it in your house but your patch cable that goes from your wall outlet to your tv is a cat five Mm -hmm. which is only good for 100 meg that's as fast as you'll go is 100 meg oh really see it's only as fast as your weakest link Mm-hmm. Okay, I have a question for you about memory. All right. Okay, you. I don't have any memory. <laughs> <laughs> so you get you get it, my wife. You get one of these external memory devices. Yes. Right. I got one at home, and and I set it up, and now I want to take all the memory that that I'm uh, that I'm using on my computer and you put it into this device because my computer has not as much as that device. That ha- device has two terabytes. Is that what yep. it says? Yes. Yep. Two yep. terabytes. Okay. When I take all the iTunes files and I put them over there, all of a sudden iTunes doesn't know where the files went. How do I tell iTunes where the files are? Because iTunes is big in my world because I have a lot of music. Exactly. Well, you may have to also download and save it on the external hard drive, the program itself, an iTunes program. 
I know it's an I two, like an icon on your laptop. Okay. Words, so it has to, you have to put it somewhere, because when you try to retrieve it and it's in the cloud, it doesn't know where to retrieve it from. You and and remember the hard drive is like a cloud; it's it's external. Right, right. And it's got to find it. It's got to bring it in. So the, the, is there a way to just tell it where it is? Yeah, or? you can name it. Okay. Yeah, name it. I guess I got to look. Create this a up. file and name it iTunes, and then this sounds confusing. Put, put the icon on your on your screen, and when you want it, click on it, and things like that. But IT guys are in a different world of their own. I meet them every day, and I don't understand their language. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is a foreign can, language. So I, I can make it work, but I can't. I can't connect it together. You know, <laughs> we have to take a break. All we right. we will be right back. Uh, Jim George is here. He is our professor gadget. If you have a question about something that you've been scratching your head over that you need some advice on, maybe it's your um, computer or or something of that sort. Maybe it's maybe it's the thing Jim first started talking about, which is cable. Yeah. Could be. Ma maybe the price of cable is something you have a question about. We'll be right back. You can ask all of those questions. The uh, number is six two two nine six two two. Brought to you by myfwc.com. Safe boating is no accident. Today, very warm with sunshine and patchy clouds, along with a shower, a high of 82 to 88. Then tonight, clear to partly cloudy, a low of 59 to 67. Tomorrow, very warm with partial sunshine, a high of 81 to 87. And around out the weekend, Sunday, remaining warm with clouds and sunshine, a shower possible near the coast, a high of 83 to 87. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Evan Duffy. Hey, I'm Gary. And I'm Eric. Did you know that Red Eye Radio is on WOCA The Source every night from 2 to 6 a.m. and it's live. That's right. No tape shows here. We know that the news doesn't sleep. And neither do we. So we're here with you live from 2 till 6 a.m. every weekday. Call us 866-90-RED-EYE. So join me, Gary McNamara. And me, Eric Harley, every weeknight to discuss the latest in news and entertainment. Right here on WOCA The Source. Hey, Matt, I know Sunrise Automotive does auto stuff, but I need some tires for my truck. Can you recommend someone? Uh, yes, I can. We do that. No, I mean, I need them installed and balanced and all that. Yep, yep, we do that. Well, my son needed his windows tinted. Yep, we, we do that. I need too. my seat replaced. Yep, yep, we do that too. I need a new roof line, a new spoiler, and a new yep, truck. Yep, we can even do that too. Okay, okay, I get it. I suppose you can also do a radio show too, huh? Well, as a matter of fact, join me every Monday at 10 for auto repair with personal care here on The Source. Of course you do. Good credits, bad credits. It's none of our business because we're not an auto dealer. We're not a bank. We're not your mother. We're OcalaForSale.com, Marion County's marketplace for cars, trucks, and SUVs. We've got thousands of sellers standing by to take your call. No middleman. But hurry, don't walk, don't run. Just sit down and log on to OcalaForSale.com. Prices and inventory change daily. Offer does not include dealer charge. Undercutting rust proofing factory surcharge or delivery fee. See website for details. Do you have areas that have started sagging or drooping? Is what you're looking at not quite the same as it was years ago? Are there enhancements you've been putting off? Is there serious damage you need fixed? Then call on us, Damage Control Services. When your roof is sagging and the drywall is drooping after a storm, or your home just needs some enhancements, from damage repairs to new construction, Damage Control Services is here to help. All right, 19 minutes after 9 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in. Jim George is here from uh, American Cable Services. I should have mentioned that in the very beginning. And, of course, we uh, affectionately know Jim as um, Professor Gadget. And, and since Doug is a big fan of Jim, and he's always in the picture when Jim is here lately, you yeah. you have become brain, Doug. You are now officially brain, like the dog on, on <laughs> Inspector Gadget. My sidekick. That's okay. <laughs> well, you got a brain. Doug's pretty smart with this kind of oh, stuff. Oh, I know. I know. He, he's on the computer all the time. He was telling me. Uh, earlier before the break, Larry, you had brought up the price of cable. My cable bill went up $9.47 this past month, and it wasn't because of the cable company. It was because of the different taxes and the FCC, yes. whatever it is. How can they justify adding on money to something like that? I don't think they need to justify it. That's the problem. They just put it on there. You know, uh, my yeah. wife and I, several years ago, we had a, a line item on our phone bill, and we didn't understand it. So we called the phone company and we spoke to a lady and she didn't really know what it was and she passed us up to uh, up the line. And about a week to 10 days later of talking, literally every other day to someone, they finally came back and said, we have no idea what this is, we're just told to put it on. 
And I mean, oh I'm speaking gosh. about going right Isn't up the line. Crazy. I mean, mm-hmm. you know, supervisor after supervisor. Just put it on. You know, it's just a line item. And Jimmy, have a phone call. Good morning. You're on the air with Jim George. Yes. Uh, good morning, Mr. George and everybody. Good morning. I've, I've got a simple little question here about my TV set. And uh, if, if, if it's turned off and I've getting full sunshine through a window and it's shining on that set, is that bad for that set in any way? Is it an LCD or an LED or do you know? Is it oh, a, it's, it's a, a more recent flat screen. I, I don't know. I don't all right, yeah, no, it's it, it is bad. You should pull the you should pull the screen down, the shade down, on the window. Okay. If you're getting if you're yeah, getting actually, direct well, sunlight. Actually, when I'm watching it, so you know, because otherwise you can't see what you're watching. But but when it's when it's not on, no, that's no. Uh, what, what what is actually happening there uh, to that screen? Well, first of all, it's very hot. You know, you know, there's different rays. There's ultraviolet, ultra red, ultra blue. There's all kind of light rays, and no one really knows the effect of it. Um, so. You remember years ago, and even when you had the CRT tubes in your set, the cathode ray tubes, the big heavy, you know, TVs, they right. told you keep it out of direct sunlight because there's right. gas in that in that tube, and the uh, different rays would affect the gas. The um, liquid crystal diodes and the light emitting diodes, they're the light emitting not so much. There's still gas that you you activate the color by a certain voltage. But the liquid crystals the same way. You activate the color by a certain voltage. So um, I would definitely keep it out of direct sunlight. Okay, thanks. What I'll do is just relocate it then where it won't get hit by the Or if, it, well, if, if it's a swivel, just leave it where, if you like watching it where it is, and just turn it away from the sun. Or maybe like putting a towel over it or something. Large you can do anything you'd like to, yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Okay, thanks a lot. You're welcome. Well, that is one of the things we'll probably never get away from is the, the sun is always going to be brighter than our devices. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank <laughs> God. <laughs> there, there was a, a story that I was looking at um, regarding uh, consumer grade night goggles. Have you seen these things? Yes. And the, everything looks green. Yep. I guess it's cheaper to make it green. Is there an explanation? That's, that's just the, that's the light frequency. They're sending out a frequency reflecting back, and, and that's what's lighting it up. So why would we need that? I mean, Well, military needs it, but like if you wanted to go find grade. your dog at middle of the night, you didn't want to get a flashlight out that's there because the yeah. neighbors you know, might think there's a burglar in the yard. You're out there with a light and you're shining it around. Have you ever used them? I have. In the military, and, and do, do they? I mean, do you really feel like you're in the daylight? Is it looking? Is it no, except no, that everything's it, green? I, it's probably changed since I've been. In, I was in the military in '67, but I'm sure it's changed a whole huh. lot. But I don't think it's, uh, it looks like daylight in, at all. In the uh, toy department, one Christmas I was looking for some toys, and there was a uh, what was it called? A night night vision yes. helmet or something mm-hmm. like that. And I thought, cool, I'm going to get this for one of the kids. Night vision helmet. You know what it was? A flashlight strapped to the helmet. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. night vision. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you turn it on. Yeah, that's true. But the, but the cost of cable is really going up, though, Robin. Mm-hmm. It really is going up. Programmers are getting out of hand. They're mm-hmm. charging more and more, and the cable companies want to make more and more. Mm-hmm. They know their time is limited. Everything's going to be internet. It's got to be limited. Everything's going to be a la carte. It's going plus, to be. Plus, I think TV stations probably are really thankful for this because it means they can have a local audience that simply gets their signal the way they used to get it with an antenna Mm -hmm. and that's why your service is very valuable because you are like the founder of the a la carte for presenting it to the people you're having the technology that's going to make it available exactly i was just talking to my uh, son-in-law last night he's very techy he came in last night with my daughter and um, we were talking about the fact that Roku's got thousands of channels on their box. And why would someone want our service? I said, because the channels that Roku has is what's called static. And what that means is Friends is a series and Friends or Cheers is over. All right. That's stored somewhere. Well, you can go to Roku box and you can go to Netflix and you can buy that series and, mm-hmm. you know, and you can watch it. But you're, look, you're, you're looking at the past. What we're offering is live TV. Mm-hmm. So he says, is there really someone who wants to sit down and watch what's going on right now? And that's the generation. <laughs> that's the generation he's in. Yeah, yeah, and I yeah. said, yeah, we want to know local news. We want to see what's the weather like. We don't want to go look at week, weather two weeks ago. Exactly. You know, you, or programs. Did, you want to watch it right now. You don't want to record them and look at them next month. Right. Did you see the uh, the story on the, the 
um, uh, like the massive amount of electromagnetic energy that came from the sun earlier this week? No, I didn't see it, but I'm sure it was a lot. Okay, so there were two bursts sun of flares. energy from the sun. Yep. They made the, what's it called, the Northern Lights? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Aurora Borealis, yes. like very big, and it went farther south than it usually goes, and astronauts were sending pictures back of how beautiful it looked. And then we get these reports as a radio station that this could interfere. Yes. Does it affect cable at all, or is cable not affected by that it stuff? It affects cable if it comes off either the satellite or if it comes off an antenna, yes. If it comes off the Internet, not necessarily. Oh, okay. Yeah. We have a phone call. Good morning. You're on the air with Jim. Hey, Jim. I've got a question about an infomercial that I see when I wake up sometimes in the middle of the night. It's about a bunch of guys out on a boat, and they're saying you can get a million free channels, and they're out in the middle of I don't know where. <laughs> and they say, just plug it into the back of your TV, and no converter, nothing else. Is that uh, for real, or stay away from The Well, you have to connect somehow. You have to connect to something. So I don't know what the device is. I haven't seen it, but if it was a, um, if it, you know, you can get sa- you can get satellite, TV on your cell phone or on your TV by an adapter but I don't think they're watching no I have no idea what that is you have to you know maybe call in next week and say the name of it so and so I have never seen that okay yeah. but there are some it's things called co- yeah one's called rabbit TV and rabbit TV is a lot like Roku in the sense that you plug it in the USB port and it allows you to um, add channels so instead of going to NBC.com and then you're done with that, you go to abc.com and you're done with that, Rabbit will remember those. So as you go and go and go, it re- so now it's like just like changing the channel. You just change the channel. Wow. I mean, and that's called Rabbit TV, like Rabbit Ears. Okay, mm-hmm. I'm okay. Now, yeah, I just, I've got, uh, you know, a diverter or converter or whatever I got on an old TV years and years ago, and I can get a couple, two or three free channels if I aim the Rabbit Ears in the right direction. Yes. But this thing just says plug into any TV and away you go, and it's nineteen ninety nine. And if you order now, you get two of them or some sort yeah. like that. <laughs> yeah, no, it has to connect to something either by internet or by cell phone service. You have to connect somehow. Nothing All stands right. alone. Well, I'm sure they're selling a million. I'm uh, just not going to be one of them personally. <laughs> All right, thank you. All right, thanks, y'all. All right, so, so let, me, let me read you this little article. I wanted to bring this up. Sure. Um, a Tesla's Model S electric cars will oh. receive over-the-air software upgrades, including some self-driving capabilities. And basically what this means is you, you go to the mall. Right. You just get out right here at the curb. Yep. And then tell your car to go park, and it will. Yep. And then when you're done, it's like having a valet service. Your car will come back and pick you up. Yep. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? That is amazing. I wonder how soon we're going to see this. And then the other tech news this morning was that story that the FAA, FAA is that the one? That, uh, yes. Yeah, has given some kind of a certificate to um, Amazon to start actually figuring out how to do this idea of delivering packages. Yeah, the drones. With their drones. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 400 feet is their limit, I think, is what it said, right? 400 feet? Yes. Well, I think I think the yeah. first ones that will see all the capabilities of the Tesla car will be the tow trucks. Oh, there you go. There you go. Because, I mean, Tesla was a genius, and everything he touches, I mean, we're still trying to figure out some of his, you know, formulas, like we are still trying to figure out some of the Einstein formulas. But the bottom line is, if it can go wrong, it can go wrong. Yeah, yeah, right. I mean, that's it. It always goes so fast with you, Jim. And and Internet Explorer going away. I heard that, yeah. They're doing away with that one. Yeah. Jim, what's your phone number? 854 97 95. Our visit with Professor Gadget has come to an end. Brain, what do you think about that? That's okay. <laughs> Till next week, same time, same channel. Same. <laughs> thank you, Jim. Uh, thank you. We'll be right back. Radio. I'm Lillian Wu. Iran nuclear talks in Switzerland reportedly running into some stumbling blocks. How much nuclear capacity should Iran be allowed to retain? And how quickly 